Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante. I'm from Wikibon, and this is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's production of reInvent 2013. We're here, this is Amazon's big show. This is the Super Bowl of cloud. We're here in Las Vegas. Mauricio Fernandez is here. He is the president of Dedalus, which is a Brazilian consultancy. Uh, welcome to theCUBE, thanks for coming on. Thank you, thank you. So Brazil is a vibrant market, uh, been to Brazil. It's a very IT savvy market, obviously a lot of banks. Uh, it's the, big, the biggest market um, you know, in South America, uh, so, so quite advanced. Um, first of all, talk about Daedalus, uh, the, the firm, and what you guys do, and I want to get into the Brazilian market and obviously the cloud. Okay, well, thank you for inviting me to be here. Um, Daedalus is a traditional company in Brazil. We started in 1989, 24 years ago. So, uh, we are very well known in Brazil. We did a lot of things. For instance, in the past, we had a local data center with 2,000 servers. And then we gave up because it's impossible to have a data center with such volume today. Uh, then we realized that uh, cloud computing is the future. And we started a, a partnership with Amazon. And uh, we grew up a lot. And today we are one of the major partners of uh, AWS in the world. In, in Latin America, the number one also. So 1989, in fact I was just talking to somebody and I said, you know, mm -hmm. this reminds me of the early 1990s, this being the whole migration of applications to the cloud. Yeah. You remember, I'm sure, the, the mm -hmm. downsizing trend, right? All the, a lot of mainframes in, in Brazil. Yeah. And then almost overnight, from 1991, you know, to let's say the, the late 90s, all the apps went off the mainframe to client server. And yeah. you're seeing a, a similar migration yeah. Uh, to the cloud. Do, do you buy that analogy? Are there, are there similarities that we can draw on and learn from? Yes, it's similar, but cloud computing has something that is very different. Uh, it's not only for the IT. So the CIO, the guys from IT, uh, they realize that uh, they are in a shift that will uh, provide to them the opportunity and the risk of helping the entire company. They are not changing a big server for a small server. They, they are eliminating the server. And they are doing something that is not only IT, but it's internet in general. So they have to deal with the guys from marketing services, sales, et cetera, et cetera. It's a new world for them. Yeah, so, so you're right. Back then, even yeah. though I, I could argue that a lot of the client server was enabled by the client, and that yeah. was sort of non-IT, but it was about personal productivity. It wasn't about organizational productivity, which is the, exactly. what the cloud is about. It's like Andy Jassy says, the question you should be asking is, how can you make your company more productive? How can you serve your customers better? That's not a question we asked back in the 1990s. Yeah, and, that, and that's a big problem because uh, all of us from IT, we are not prepared for those questions. So the fear is huge in general. When you go to a CIO of a big company, which is the, the target that, that we have, uh, we see a lot of fears because those guys, they, they have been trained to discuss only IT. And now, all of a sudden, they have to solve problems about uh, sales, uh, presentations, uh, internet in general, etc. It's not easy. And our work at Daedalus is to help those guys to, to, to jump from the old systems to the new systems. Uh, and we are, we are trying to do this all the time. So Mauricio, if I had to draw a bell curve, uh, you know, speaking about your local uh -huh. market, and maybe th maybe slice it into three. Uh -huh. Those CIOs that are really get it and embracing the cloud, they see the future and they say, we want to be a part of this. Uh, those that are, um, say, fearful, but realize something's coming, and those that are digging their heels in, say, no way, cloud. How would you say that, that, that pie or that bell curve breaks up? What rough percentages do you see? That's a great question. I mean. This is changing all the time. The, the market in Brazil, I, do, I, I think it's the same here in the United States, but in Brazil this is changing in a, in a fast speed. So what is moving then to, to the cloud is dropping costs, agility, and best services. So there is a moment that, that you don't, don't discuss, you no longer are discussing, well, should I go or not? Should I decide? Well, you, you have a, 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 a very emergential situation, a critical situation. So I used to say that Daedalus is like an emergency room where the guys goes and say, well, I am with pains and I have to go now, okay? So this is, doing, this is happening all the time. We discuss with customers for one year, two years, and all of a sudden they have a pain 
and I have to move in the same moment. So that's very interesting. In the past, when you said about the mainframes, it was a process for a long time, one year, two years, three years. Now it's weeks. Okay, and those guys, they, they, they change it a lot. Of course, Brazil, we have a lot of, uh, let's say, more uh, old fashioned people that uh, say that, um, let's say, well, cloud is not for me, we are not prepared, but then all of a sudden they have a situation that they have to move. It's incredible seeing this. And uh, we, had, we help those guys to understand that, uh, well, it's okay, we see this before, we are doing this all the time, so we can help you as well. When did you uh, start when did you realize that, that AWS, I mean, so AWS was announced in uh, 2006. Mm -hmm. How long after did you realize this was the future and something that you were going to sort of bet your business on? 2009. Okay. And I, I will tell you what, what I did. I gave up everything that I was doing, all the types of services, and embraced really? the idea of AWS Total totally. Pivot. Yeah, yes. wow. So I say, well, I, I don't want this. I, I will not start with a small people thinking about cloud computing. I will focus my company totally to, to cloud computing. And this is one of the devices that I say. This is not for a hobby, okay? Cloud computing, you have to go deeper to understand that. So since 2009, we created, we recreated a new company totally on cloud computing. <clears throat> so today we are working with, with AWS and, and Google also for, for, for the Google apps. And all, all, our uh, projects, they are totally devoted to cloud computing. That's the key of success. We, um, we haven't talked much about it at this <coughs> show, but I, I would observe that your timing is impeccable because I, I'd say, okay, 2006 to 2009 you know, yeah. was basically a, it was tinkerers, you know, it was developers playing yeah. around with AWS. 2008, when the economy crashed in the fall of 2008 and 2009, and we've been saying this, and I heard Andy Jassy say it in a meeting I had with him recently, that economic downturn accelerated the move to cloud in our client base by at least 24 months. Mm -hmm. Everybody said we have to shift to a variable expense. Don't spend money on servers. And then coming out of the downturn, things are actually pretty good from a, from a spending standpoint, but you saw a lot of shadow IT, what we call shadow IT, marketing departments, you know, research departments, doing yeah. it on, on their own. And, and now our premise is that you know, 2014, we're going to be entering the phase of CIOs embracing this. Um, now, based on what you said earlier, maybe not so much, maybe the CIOs will, but what do you think about that? Did, did you see that huge spike in interest as the economy turned down? Yeah. Your business started to explode, is that exactly. what happened? Yeah, exactly, that's the idea. I mean, when you are in a crisis, like 2009 or today, a company will look for reducing costs and agility. That's right. why we are here. I mean, cloud computing is, is the same. I mean, agility is an incredible agility compared with what we had 10 years ago and reduced the costs. So we are speaking the proper word for those guys. So 2013, 2014, we will envision a huge acceleration on cloud computing because all the fears, you know, you have fears when you, you don't have the CEO of the company saying, well, I have to reduce your budget for 30%, 40% because we are in a, in a bad situation. Or I, I, I have to, you to help the, the shadow, the, the, the gray uh, IT departments on marketing, etc. because we have to have to be more agile. We have to uh, recreate our company as well. So I, I believe that the, the next two or three years will be very, Will, will be the golden age for the enterprise cloud computing. And then, again, in your timing, you had the Google effect in 2009. I know we as yeah. a company moved to, to Google Apps, Google Email, we were a Microsoft shop, we moved to Google Apps around that time, yeah. largely because you know, Microsoft 360 wasn't ready yeah. at the time. But it is now, so what are you seeing there in the, in the marketplace? You know, Microsoft's coming on a lot stronger in, in the yeah. apps. What too are you early, in my, my too, too late in my opinion. A little too, little too late, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, we, we are living in a moment that uh, months are like years <laughs> in the past, <laughs> right. right? So uh, Google is doing that since 2007. Yeah, right. AWS since 2006. So uh, despite of the fact that Microsoft, of course, is the big company, but uh, I, I don't think they have the focus. I don't think they have uh, the proper timing to, to compete with, with uh, AWS or, or Google as well. Let's talk, talk so AWS, uh, multiple uh -huh. data centers in Brazil, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, and Brazil just passed some laws recently requiring that for certain industries, 
Yeah. Uh, I didn't read the law, but uh, yeah. I've heard about it secondhand. Certain industries re will require data must be stored in Brazil. Is that right? Maybe yeah. you could add some color to that. Yeah, that's correct. Well, it, it's not a red uh, uh, available, the law. They are voting for the law okay. in, on the Senate. But uh, probably that, that will be the shape. I mean, the, the data should be in Brazil. Okay. Uh, what doesn't have huge impact for AWS because they invested to have some data centers in Brazil. Yeah, so what was the impetus for that law? I mean, it probably predated the whole NSA PRISM issue, right? You know, the, the, yeah. the National Security Agency. But have, have, are, are your clients sensitized to that? Um, that, that potentially the uh, uh, United States government could be looking at their, their, their data? Uh, again, or any government for that uh, matter? All the time when, when they ask me that, I say that, um, let's say, the, the more mature people understand the situation and know that uh, this is not a technology situation, it's a diplomatic situation, okay? Uh, and they understand that uh, uh, they have to encrypt their, their data, their, their data. Uh, they have to concern more about security. But uh, they understand that uh, cloud computing is the best way to place your data they are insecure inside your house. So probably, if you use AWS, with train the micro, for instance, you will be much more secure, despite of any patriotic act or any other law, than having the data on your home. Uh, you believe uh, that? Home. You believe okay. cloud is more secure than on-premise? Yeah. Now, yeah. You, a, lot of, a lot of banks in, in Brazil, a lot of financial institutions, yeah. I, pro I guarantee some IT practitioner inside those financial institutions would say, no way. What would you say to them? Well, you, you know, it's changing. We, we have been talking with some CIOs from Brazilian bankings, and uh, they are saying this, well, banking, okay, we will keep in-house. But everything that is internet, yeah. the best place to, to, to have internet is on the internet. <laughs> it's so obvious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they realize that, uh, there are some, that there are two words, the internet word, which should be at, at cloud computing, and the banking world, which is not that big, actually. It, there is a lot of activities on the internet layer of, of for the banking. That should be at, at home for now, but maybe in two years, three years, we don't know. We saw some cases here at reInvent of banking in, in, in Japan, et cetera, uh, moving in, entirely to, to AWS. So it's as a matter of time, probably. So de tell me about Daedalus. The, tell me about the name. What, what's the name mean? It's from the mythology. I, I, I realized when I was 12 years old that I want to have a company, and I decided that the name would be Daedalus for the mythology. It's the guy that uh, created the labyrinth, <laughs> and Icarus is the, is the, is the boy, is, is his son, and they fly it from the, from the labyrinth. It represents, you know, uh, smart people, capacity, agility, uh, uh, survivors, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Interconnectedness. Uh, yeah. So, uh, how, now, how many people are you? Uh, 90. 90 people. Na 93 people. 90. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. More or less. Um, so, let me ask you. Last, last question sure. is uh, advice for practitioners, particularly CIOs, that are scared. What do you tell them? Well, first of all, uh, cloud computing is a reality. I mean, uh, we, this is, we, we are not uh, in a laboratory. There are hundreds of thousands of examples. You don't have to create nothing. Uh, everything that you, you should need, you, you will find at, at cloud computing, especially with AWS, which is the more mature provider. Uh, second, uh, Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste your time thinking. This is not the time of thinking. This is time of action. So jump. That's Excellent. the idea. Um, I, I said last question. I want to ask you one more. Uh -huh. You're going to go back to Brazil, and people are going to say, hey, how was reInvent? Uh -huh. What are you going to tell them? What's the bumper sticker that you're going to put on the show? Uh, reInvent 2013. Um, What's the short phrase that describes it? In one word, hey, create. I think that we are not only reinventing, we are recreating the entire platform of technology as it should be since the beginning. I mean, more close to the people and not close to the technology itself. So here we see people that is not, uh, let's say, totally IT-oriented. They are more people-oriented. 
which is something that we expected to have on the 20th century and uh, is happening now. Mm. So he create, I think, is, is, the, is the proper word for reinvent. Mauricio Fernandez, thanks so much for coming on the Cube. Great example of, uh, of innovation going on outside of the United States. Huge uh, opportunities for, for Amazon. It's a global market. Yeah. It's a multi-trillion dollar marketplace. And really mm -hmm. appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. All right, keep it right there, everybody. We'll be right back with uh, John Furrier, my co-host, and our next guest right after this. This is theCUBE. We're live from reInvent.